Premiere sometimes feels like it's working against you, I, I mean, it, it's tempting. But hey, today we're gonna hack into Premiere Pro and achieve unlimited power. In fact, we're gonna ask Charlie to help us. That's right, the first thing we're gonna change are the caching settings. Ideally, you wanna use an SSD that you can then use to store your caching. But why is this gonna speed things up? Well, Premiere, your operating system, Chrome and other stuff are already using your drive to an extent. And if you're gonna squeeze caching on it as well, everything is gonna run slower. If you store caching on an external or a different SSD, you will literally give Premiere more power. But it will also run faster because your caching has more speed as well. You can easily do that by going to Edit, Preferences and then Media Cache. In here, you can choose a different drive and that's it. Oh, and you should also delete your caching every now and then. Thank you so much, Charlie. But what actually is caching? Well, it's nothing more than a bunch of temporary files that help Premiere load and playback media faster. Alright, we've just hacked into caching, but Premiere is still not behaving like it should. Charlie, help me out. Okay, well sometimes when you have extreme animations and stuff going on, Premiere is gonna fall behind. It doesn't matter how expensive your PC is, this shit is gonna lag. And that's why you shouldn't be afraid to use a little After Effects every now and then. It's actually created to make motion graphics, animations, via and it will run so much better. There's two ways you can use After Effects. You can just launch it and create a new project and start from here. Or you can use the dynamic link in Premiere Pro. Let's create a simple scale animation together. If you want to scale up this icon, right click it and choose replace with After Effects composition. This will open up After Effects and there you go. Here's the logo from our timeline that we're gonna animate. To create a scale animation, I just hit S on my keyboard and here you can see the scale property. Property. Move a little forward in time and now just click the stopwatch icon to set a keyframe. Move back in time, set the scale to zero and boom. Now hit Ctrl S to save it and in Premiere you will see your animation playing back. If you already closed After Effects and you need to adjust the animation, just right click and choose Edit Original. This will then open up After Effects again. By the way, if you're a complete After Effects noob, check out After Effects Basics down below. Okay, this is really cool, but the dynamic link in Premiere still comes with another problem. They have terrible playback and there's only one way to fix it. No, there are actually two ways. One of them is going to sequence and then choosing render into out. This will pre-render your clip and once it's done, you can play it back perfectly. However, when you make the smallest adjustment, you need to pre-render it again. So here's another trick. Right click your clip and choose render and replace. This will turn your linked composition into a normal video which makes it easy to play back. However, you can't go back to After Effects now because it's not a linked composition anymore. But of course you can fix that by right clicking it and then choosing restore unrendered. It is that simple. Thank you Charlie, but my clips are still lagging and Premiere is about to crash. Don't worry, your clip is just recorded in another codec that's harder to read for Premiere. Some video codecs are just really hard to read. In order to play back footage, Premiere has to dissect the information of your video file. Some files are hard to dissect, which makes your playback slow. Others are easy and that is exactly where proxies come into play. Just go to the clip in the project window that has slow playback. Choose proxy and create proxies. In this menu, Select the preset to ProRes QuickTime. This one is super simple for Premiere to read. Premiere will now open up Media Encoder and create a proxy file. Once it's done, make sure the proxy toggle is enabled and there you go, perfect playback. Oh, and don't worry about exporting, Premiere will always use the original high quality file unless you specifically choose not to. I wonder if AI can edit my videos faster than me and to find out, click the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so, so much for watching.